everybody, Doll with a Dollar here, and today I have another little random video for you guys. We have some ant beds in our backyard. We've never had a problem with them before, but the other day, um, my little boy stepped in an ant bed and got some awful bites on his left ankle. Um, I think it's because we've had a lot more rain than usual, and... I don't know, maybe we've just got more ant beds, but I was looking up some ways. We'd gone to the Dollar Tree, and the Dollar Tree even had some ant poisoning for a dollar, but I'm afraid that it's not safe. Since I have a little boy outside um, who likes to play outside, like I wanted it to be something that was relatively safe. So I did some research, and... Um, I found a lot of suggestions about what you can do if you have a toddler or a baby in the house um, to help kill the ants. And one of the suggestions was baby powder. And we already have this on hand, so I decided I would give it a try before going out and buying some of the more expensive, um, you know, kind of safer brands or whatever. Um, and they said, like, if baby powder doesn't work, that maybe borax would. So we're going to try these. I'm going to try baby powder first, and we'll look in a couple of days to see if the ants are still alive. If not, we'll try borax and then, again, test that. Um, but hopefully we will find something that will work for killing the ants, and hopefully it's something that you already have in your So our grass is freshly cut, so it's going to be kind of hard to see. But there is one ant bed that's right in front of my little boy slide. And this is the main one that he stepped in the other day. And then right underneath his slide is another um, ant bed. And I think there's some more around our yard too. And we'll see if we can find those. But what I'm going to do is just sprinkle the powder on it very liberally. Um, they say that there's something like the cornstarch or whatever in the powder um, makes the ants, see I see some ants moving right there, I'm not sure if you can see them, but apparently they'll grab like the cornstarch and whenever they go to eat it, um, it'll kill them. So um, I definitely don't want my little boy to be hurt anymore by these stupid ants. So we'll check it in a few days and see if we see any more live ants because I can see some even though the yard has been cut and the mound has been um, kind of taken away from the surface, but a lot of what the ant bed is is underneath the ground and what you can't see So we'll check it again in a few. Okay, everybody So it's been about three or four days now and we're gonna check the ant bed and see if the baby powder did anything so I'm kind of like Stir it up a little bit um it doesn't seem like the ants are as numerous, but there are some. There are still a few left. I don't know if you can see it. I'm sorry if you can't. But um, there's definitely some ants left. So since, since there's still some ants, we're going to sprinkle some borax on it. And then we'll check it again in a few days to see if it works. So I think the borax is kind of the same principle. Like the more ants eat of this stuff, the more like they want to eat and um you know they'll just keep eating it and then i guess essentially it just poisons their insides or something but anyway we definitely don't want any ants left um since my little boy plays out here and i don't want him to get bitten again like he did before so um and apparently this stuff is safe even for um like kids playing because like it's not really toxic for kids like obviously don't um feed it to anyway them. once it sits for a while and rains it should um be pretty safe for your child to be around um again obviously don't let them eat it but it's going to be a lot safer than like ant poisoning that you buy in the store so we're going to give it a few days and we'll check it again and see if it effectively killed the ant Okay guys, it's about to rain, but I wanted to come out and check our ant beds real quick to see if the borax um, and baby powder thing worked. We ended up moving the um, clay set a little bit so that we can get a better um, view of the ant beds. Um, the one right here looks like it doesn't even look like an ant bed anymore. Um, and I actually don't even see any ants. But let's try this one and see 
if the borax only worked I can see a couple of ants right there but it could just be from the general like area but let's dig into the ant bed and see if we see anything I'm not seeing anything inside of it I see a couple of like random ants but like I said it could be from you know just ants crawling in general but I don't see like a swarm of ants like normally happens when you stamp and step into an ant bed so I guess I would say that borax probably is an effective ant poison um, and it is a lot safer than you know poison or whatever again like I said don't you know let your kids eat it or whatever but um, yeah I think it's a pretty good alternative um, instead of having to buy some ant poison so yeah there we go um, definitely use borax and um, maybe even baby powder baby powder worked okay too just not as good as the borax so thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe um, have a great day bye, -bye.